You're watching Nerdy Rodent on YouTube. <laughs> Wonderful! Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am looking at first order motion model for image animation code on GitHub. What is that? You may be saying, well, it gives you a little bit of an example here. So we've got a Vox Celeb dataset, a driving video of Mr. Trump there and some source images across the top from various Game of Thrones characters. You can see there the driving video is making the source image move in exactly the same way. So yeah, basically you can you know take a video of yourself uh, with your own webcam and then get your characters to talk. Uh, but it doesn't have to be uh, heads moving, uh, it can be bodies spinning like in this fashion data set, uh, or animated GIFs like this. So yeah, uh, the, your imagination, use your imagination, make your own data sets, do things. Uh, installation, very easy, pip install minus r requirements.txt, love it. Uh, YAML config, so they're great. Uh, there is one config file in there that's got all the descriptions you'll need. So if we just have a, a quick look at this, so this is the Taichi256 YAML file, and this gives you all the dataset parameters. So for example, the root directory, where have you put all your data? Uh, and that data can be, you know, MP4 files, GIF videos, stack PNG images, or folders with frames. Uh, you know, there's loads and loads of things to, to change in there. Uh, all your usual stuff like generator and discriminator learning rates and batch sizes and epochs and all that sort of stuff. So if you're, if you're training your own stuff, then yep, you want to dive straight into those YAML config files and figure out what is going on. Uh, to actually train, you've got the command there. Basically, you just point it to the, the config file um, that you've you just created, that YAML file. Um, I've got mine set there for zero because I've only got one card, but we can look at the full-on com uh, command over here, somewhere down here, there it is. And uh, as you can see there, you can actually, you know, if you've got loads of GPUs, um, then yeah, that, that's fine. You can you can add those on. But I've only got I've only got one. I've only got one. Um, animation demo to run a demo. Uh, download a checkpoint and run the following command. Now this is sort of easier said than done because if you go to the Google Drive or the Yandex disk and uh, then try and download one of the checkpoints, you go yeah, let's have that checkpoint. It will go no. Oh no, I'm very sorry, download quota exceeded. But what you can do instead is basically just right click on it and make a copy. And then that will copy it over to your Google Drive um, instead. And then you can download it from your own Google Drive. So that, that works, that's quite nice. Um, right, so it's quite a long quite a long command there. I've, I've typed it out in full here. Um, so first thing, config, that's, the config um, it provides you with the configs for the, the pre-trained uh, checkpoint so that's fine um, driving video so this is one of the things that you'll need a driving video and a source image in this instance I've used me uh, that's scaled down to 256 by 256 uh, now the source image you'll have to get yourself that's up to your imagination yep yeah, find something funky uh, the checkpoint that's the pre-trained uh, checkpoints we've downloaded before and then uh, relative and adapt scale. It does mention down the bottom here, um, so image animation um, about relative and adapt scale it seems to be something related to that. But yeah, I've, I've done them all relative so far because that seems to work best. It looks more like the source picture. Um, right, so let's let's have a go, shall we? Shall we have a go? Shall we have a go at running one of these? So I've got. The, uh, the Met, Met Museum open here, and I have searched for portraits. So let's have a quick look for a portrait that I would like to make talk, because I'm weird like that. Uh, let's have a look at her. There you go, portrait of a young woman. So it's got to be uh, 256 by 256. So I'll zoom in a little bit and sort of get the general area. Can I measure a square? Not very well. Let's drag that in a bit. So how high do we need this? 593. Five, oops. 93. There we go. Right. So I'll have that bit of the painting, please. And we will call this. Just take that bit off in there. Half 
brown, I'll do. There we go. So this is in the uh, first order model source images, just a directory I've created. So we'll save that image in there, and then I will want to resize it. So it goes all the way down to 256 by 256. So we'll pop in there, and I will resize that. Make the brown picture. Blink. There we go. So that is now 256 by 256. Really, really tiny. And we've got this whole command here to run. So let's pop this in. So, driving video I've already got in my special directory, and this is no longer a baseball card, but that picture I just downloaded. So there's Martha Brown, and this will take almost no time whatsoever. It's only a very short driving video. Now the output gets put into the first order model uh, base directory. And just to show you what my first test looked like, this was this was me pretending to be Elvis. Yeah, pretty cool, isn't it? And here's the one that just finished the results.mp4. So there is your talking painting. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Now it does do a bunch of other things as well. Uh, so we scroll down here. Uh, there is of course a docker bit and a collab demo as well. We can also do um, face swapping as well. Now I'm not actually going to cover it in this video because it's a whole different thing. Uh, motion co-segmentation there. So there's there's lots more things to do if you want to do that. Uh, but yes, you can do you can do face swap uh, training. It has got a little bit of information on the data sets down the bottom here. So some of the data sets they used you can download directly and it's got information on training your own data set there. So for example if you wanted to um, have a, a model like the, the Vox one there, uh, so you've got various videos in your test and all your data there in the train, so hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos in there that you can uh, leave it to go and train on and make your own models. Well, there we go, that's about it for today and uh, I hope you have enjoyed First Order Motion Model for Image Animation. Rodent out.